examples, stages of money laundering and methods, expert analysis. The annual report of the Swiss Financial Intelligence Unit 2017 came out. It's an all-time record. It shows that 2,909 money laundering cases have been reported to the Swiss Money Laundering Reporting Office. 5,300 million Swiss francs have been frozen as a consequence of such reports. Are all these 5,300 million Swiss francs the criminal proceeds deriving from money laundering activities? According to this official report, each single day, 11 examples of money laundering methods have been reported. That's an absolute world record. If you want to know real life stages of money laundering and the most frequent schemes and cases of money laundering in Switzerland, if you want to know which criminal activities have produced 5,300 million Swiss francs criminal proceeds frozen, watch this video until the end. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hi, my name is Enzo Caputo with SwissBankingLawyers.com, the place where successful international business people find practical solutions for their banking and international business issues in Switzerland. I'm speaking to you from Paradeplatz, Zurich, Switzerland, the center of the Swiss banking industry. Analysis on stages of money laundering based on the annual report. I'm going to analyze with you the most important facts and figures listed with the last annual report published by the Swiss Financial Intelligence Unit, the Money Laundering Reporting Office Switzerland, in 2017. What I'm showing to you now has nothing to do with money laundering methods you may know from Hollywood movies. Never before in the history of Swiss banking such a big amount of money has been frozen in one year only. The numbers are very impressive. But you have to consider that Swiss banks are the market leaders with private banking activities. Swiss banks are managing 30% of all private money in the world. 30% of all private money in the world is a lot of money. Such a record amount of money involved with money laundering activities is the best evidence that the Swiss anti-money laundering framework works very successfully. The official facts and figures are increasing from year to year. That means that Difficult times are coming for white-collar criminals. Are all these 5,300 million Swiss francs frozen money representing the criminal proceeds from money laundering methods? No, because after a formal suspicious activity report, the funds must be immediately frozen based on suspicion only. Roughly 15% of the cases have been forwarded to the Financial Intelligence Unit to the criminal prosecutors for further investigations and for the remaining 50% of the cases it came out subsequently that the funds had a legitimate background history. Examples of money laundering. What does it mean for a client of a Swiss bank? Swiss bankers have become very efficient detecting money laundering activities. If you do not properly collect your invoices and your agreements showing the legitimate source of your money, you are under risk to be reported in the future. In fact, 50% of the reported funds were owned by innocent account holders. Due to the high level of alert, you do not have to be a criminal, a criminal to become your account frozen. What are the most frequent criminal acts and cases involved with cleaning money? Roughly 50% of the 5,300 million Swiss francs is the proceeds of corruption money and fraudulent activities. International fraud and corruption are the most frequent criminal activities in connection with money laundering schemes. The amount of frozen corruption money has increased 23% compared to the year before. Why it has become actually so difficult to hide corruption money with Swiss banks? Until 18 years ago, 
until 1999. It was perfectly legal in Switzerland to deduct corruption money from the income when calculating the taxable income. Let me give you an example. If a big Swiss company spent and paid a substantial amount of money to a foreign official as a bribe, it has been fully legal and common practice that the corruption money has been deducted from the income to pay less tax. Since 1999, this is not legal anymore. When I worked for the Swiss bank, I managed 80 bank accounts in the name of 80 British Virgin Island companies controlled by 80 medical doctors living and working in France. The 80 medical doctors were entitled to receive a commission if they implanted an artificial device of a certain brand in the body of their patients, they received money. In France, it was illegal to collect such commissions because a medical doctor working in a public hospital was considered to be a governmental officer. In Switzerland, it was completely legal until the law changed in the year 1999. In 1999, corruption of foreign officials became illegal in Switzerland. Swiss banks frequently used so-called compensation schemes to legalize corruption money in Switzerland. Compensation schemes were widely used as money laundering methods until the last few years. Today, some still working compensation schemes have become sophisticated and very expensive. Forex transactions, swaps and other financial engineering products have become the ingredients of compensation schemes used today. But compensation schemes are used for big amounts only. What is a typical compensation scheme frequently used to make corruption money clean? Let me give you a real life example of stages of money laundering. A governmental official in Brazil responsible for construction permits for real estate projects handed over his illicit corruption money in cash to his lawyer in Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is the first step showing one example of some frequently used money laundering methods. The corrupt officer opened a bank account in Switzerland in the name of an offshore company, often a British Virgin Island company known as PVI company with bearer shares has been frequently used because the high level of anonymity due to bearer shares, the absence of bookkeeping requirements and last but not least, the Swiss bank secrecy. A lawyer in Sao Paulo instructed his business partner and lawyer living in Singapore to prepare a commission agreement for a commodity transaction between a Singapore company and the BVI company. The Singapore company wired the exact amount of corruption money, minus 5% commission, to the Swiss bank account in the name of the BVI company. The duly signed commission agreement and the invoice for the payment of the commission have been submitted to the Swiss banker managing the bank account of the BVI company to document the legitimate, the legitimate background of the transaction. Due to the low compliance level at that time, the justification for the payment has been very simple. The Brazilian officer facilitated a commodity transaction and earned a commission. The Brazilian lawyer used the same money in cash for one of his future new clients in need to corrupt somebody else. Big amounts of cash money are rare and difficult to collect. It will even be more difficult in the future for big amounts. The unique advantage of cash money is that cash money has no paper trail. The flow of cash funds is not documented and fully anonymous. The advantage of such a compensation scheme is that the corruption money has not been smuggled out of Brazil, but has arrived as bankable and laundered money in Switzerland. Such compensation schemes are not tolerated anymore. As shown in the annual report, the high level of compliance makes it very difficult to launder illicit corruption money and finding successful stages of money laundering. The level of detection for corruption increased 23% in one year only. Switzerland is not the right 
banking destination to stash corruption money anymore. How are Swiss banks discovering suspicious activities? 76% of the 2,909 suspicious activity reports were based on external information such as the internet, the media or third parties. Often the source of information triggering suspicious activity reports comes from newspapers or from the internet. 90% suspicious activity reports have been generated based on transaction monitoring tools. 5% of the reports are referred to cash transactions. The rest is based on information coming from the official investigators responsible for a pending investigation. In fact, in the name of the governmental officer has been mentioned in the newspaper in Brazil. His name was mentioned in connection with an investigation for corruption. His lawyer has been mentioned in connection with stages of money laundering. The Swiss bank managing the account in the name of the BVI company maintains a specific register. The register is listing all the names of the ultimate beneficial owners of offshore companies having bank accounts. The name mentioned in the newspaper in Brazil popped up on the screen of the compliance officer of the Swiss bank. One of the most famous compliance tools among Swiss banks is known as WorldCheck. It's a compliance database listing all names appearing in the worldwide media in connection with criminal activities. The compliance officer has verified the history of transactions of the BVI company's bank account controlled by the government officer in Brazil. He asked the client to provide additional documentation to justify the commission. The client was not in a position to show that the payment of the commission was genuine. The background history justifying the payment from the Singapore company in favor of the BVI company as a payment for a commission earned due to a commodity transaction has been fabricated by the lawyer in Singapore. At the time of the payment execution, the level on compliance was very low. A very basic justification was sufficient to have the payment approved by the Swiss bank. After the poor justification and the appearance of the name of the beneficial owner in the newspaper, the Swiss bank filed a suspicious activity report. The account of the BVI company has been frozen. The Swiss authorities have informed the authorities in Brazil. As you can see, based on my example, Switzerland is not a good place anymore to stash criminal money. If you like this video, show it with a like and like my video now. If you like more content like this and you want to be sure to not miss one of my future videos, please make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel now. Just click on the subscribe button. If you have to execute a sensitive transaction with your Swiss bank and you want to be on the safe side to not have your money frozen, let's discuss your transaction now. Pick up the phone and give me a call now on 0041442124404. Tell me your specific situation and I will propose you the most efficient and secure solution for your specific transaction. Based on my guidelines, you can be sure that your money will not be at risk to be frozen anymore. Be rich and remain rich. Have a wonderful day.